Hey guys, welcome back to another video here with us, the Handy Creators. In this video, we are gonna be doing something that a lot of people wanna do. And we're gonna show you how simple it is. If you're like the majority of us humans, we get tired of the same things and we wanna change stuff in our house, but we can't always afford to buy new furniture. So we're gonna show you a very, very inexpensive way for you to refurbish your furniture. So if you're wondering where my husband is, he actually moved to another country. What? I'm <laughs> just kidding, he's behind the camera. <laughs> very hot here in Florida. Let's get started. <laughs> Once we finally got the whole set out of the garage, we set up our workstation. We started off by removing all of the drawers and drawer handles from each cabinet. For this refurbish, we wanted to do something a little different. For the larger cabinets, we decided to stain only the top two drawer rows and paint the rest of the drawers. For the nightstands, we decided to stain all of the drawers. We started off by sanding the drawers we were going to stain with a 60 grit sandpaper to really remove all of the existing color. Once that was done, we resanded everything using a 150 grit sandpaper to really give it that smooth finish. Once we were done sanding, we removed all of the dust with our leaf blower and wiped down all of the furniture to ensure that we were removing any leftover residue. For the rest of the drawers and the cabinets themselves, we used liquid sandpaper to prep the surfaces for paint. We have used liquid sandpaper in many projects in the past and we absolutely love it. All you have to do is grab a rag and wipe all the areas down with the liquid sandpaper. What this product does is remove any gloss or shine that the cabinet has and preps the area for paint. We love using this, especially for projects like this, because you do not have to go through the process of fully sanding everything down, unless you are planning on applying a stain or a special type of paint. Once all the cabinets had been wiped down with the product, it was time to start painting. For this refurbish, we will be using the Glidden Premium Paint in a sage tone. We added the paint to our Wagner spray gun and began applying the paint onto all the cabinets and the missing drawers. This paint is very forgiving and dries very quickly. As it dries, it will begin to get darker, so do not worry if it looks uneven at first. If you feel like your product is missing paint, simply wait until the first coat dries and recoat once more. on Hulk let's see let's see if you could get it over there without messing it up come on you got this I believe in you damn okay last one
For the drawers that we sanded, we applied the stain linked below using a rag. While the paint and stain were drying, we grabbed a 220 grit sandpaper and lightly sanded all the knobs and cleaned them to remove any residue. We then spray painted them using the Burr Matte Spray Paint in the Champagne Gold shade. After about two hours, all the items were dried and it was time to put everything back together. We added the drawer and drawer handles back to each piece, making sure to be very careful to not damage any of the paint. Once everything was done, all that was left was to take it to Adriana's parents' house. Okay, we arrived. They have no idea.